follow lunar module or beyond the moon is a rock. The radar is positioned on the bottom of the descent stage of the lunar module, and the radar's electronics that process the radar's measurements are inside the descent stage. These measurements are of the speed of the spacecraft, how fast it's going forward and how fast it's going down, and of the spacecraft's altitude, how high it is above the moon. Radar energy is transmitted and received in narrow beams. The radar echoes come back from the surface of the moon. A shift in the radar frequency, called a Doppler shift, is measured to tell the velocity. Made of magnesium, the antenna is protected from extremes of temperature by a reflective coat of aluminum. Radar information is displayed on the astronaut's control panel and is fed to the guidance and navigation computers. Now, this is how the Ryan radar works in the moon landing. Seven minutes, the final crucial minutes in the Apollo program to land American astronauts safely on the moon. And aiding the lunar module in its descent is a landing radar system designed and built by Ryan Aeronautical Company of San Diego, California. Powered descent begins at about 50,000 feet. In the next few minutes, the descent engine will slow the spacecraft from its present speed of more than 3,700 miles per hour to a safe, radar-controlled three miles per hour at touchdown. Shortly after ignition, the landing radar is turned on and given a 30-second warm-up. Then, at about 45,000 feet, the astronauts initiate a yaw maneuver, turning the lunar module over with the viewing port face up. In this position, the landing radar beams are directed at the lunar surface, and the radar altimeter locks on. Forward speed, about 2,700 miles per hour. Speed of descent, about 37 miles per hour. Seven minutes to touchdown. Some 90 seconds later, the lunar module has dropped to about 39,500 feet. At this point, the radar altimeter, having direct lunar contact, begins to update the inertial guidance system, which until now has served as the astronaut's principal sensor. The craft is now at 24,000 feet, 950 miles per hour, four and a half minutes from landing. At about 59 degrees off vertical, the most forward-looking of the three velocity sensor beams strikes the lunar surface and locks on. Now the landing radar is serving as the astronaut's primary sensor in controlling the spacecraft's rate of descent. It has become their electronic eyes. Now, automatically, it updates the inertial equipment, displays altitude, rate, and velocity, and also automatically stabilizes the spacecraft during its descent. Radar reliability is a must. Near 7,000 feet, the lunar module reaches high gate, a critical point in the trajectory. Velocity is reduced enough to bring the craft still closer to the lunar vertical. Shortly after high gate, the landing radar switches automatically from the descent position to the hover position. And now the astronauts have their first low-altitude look at their landing site. They have now pitched forward to about 47 degrees and are at an altitude of about 6,800 feet. 5,000 feet, two and a half minutes. 3,200 feet, two minutes. Forward speed slows to about 125 miles per hour as they pass the 2,000-foot mark. Descent rate is about 37 miles per hour. 1,000 feet, 80 seconds. 500 feet of altitude, low gate. The astronauts are crossing the lunar surface now at 45 miles per hour. Descent rate slows to about 15 feet per second. 60 seconds from touchdown. At 25 seconds, they pass the 200-foot mark. Gradually, spacecraft speed is reduced until at about 110 feet, descent rate drops to 3 feet per second. 
During this period, the astronauts take manual control of the lunar module, using precise low-altitude measurements of their landing radar to maintain their desired descent rates. The two-man lunar module continues to settle toward the moon. The astronauts assess their landing site, and if necessary, maneuver laterally by firing the reaction control jets. The best possible site is selected. The astronauts, cushioned by rocket power, guided by radar eyes, slowly, slowly, and touch down. The soft landing. High point in man's greatest adventure.